worship. He must worship God in spirit and in truth. So when I take a position to worship God, it's, it's worship Him in spirit and it's true. It's coming from my heart. Mm -hmm. In other words, you can't fake worship Him. Because it's part about ominous. But the Bible says He resisted the proud, but He giveth grace to the humble. That don't mean who. It makes no difference who's around me. When I take a position of worship, pride got to die. Mm -hmm. In other words, I can't worship God if pride is there. Because pride will tell you your friend is watching you and you don't really want to do that today. But when I need a breakthrough from God, it doesn't matter if it's my mother, my daddy, my sister, my brother, my best friend, my bosom buddy, hanging partner, who's looking at me? I need God. And you have to make a decision for yourself. How bad do you need it? How bad do you want it? Mm -hmm. And I've seen time way in, people come to church, and I'm just telling probably today, I said, it kind of makes me wonder if people come into church as though they want to see entertainment, are they coming to church to gain something? I'm just talking to this morning because it makes me wonder because I've been to friend funerals and People walk in the funeral, you think they want to come and, and you want to show support for the family, but they will walk in the funeral and then they will walk outside and sit in the lobby. And they want to watch and see how the family is taking it when they come in. I wonder, I wonder is it really uh, uh, that you support the family, uh, but you just want to look in and want to go back and gossip and say, but that person took it hard and, and this person, that she didn't cry for, and then I, I don't believe, I don't, you know, they, they, they ain't show no feeling. Uh, so how many times you have went and you, you really felt bad for the, 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 the people and, and the family that were grieving, you feel it felt with passion and, 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 and you, 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 you embraced them and, and, and but you support them and they need you, you're there. How many times we have seen people that just go and just want to hear the choir, hear what the preacher going to say over that particular loved one that passed away. How many times you went and you, you felt like it was just a show and just a, a, a time of singing and, and you want to see who could out sing one another. Well, she sold some of that song. She tore it up. And did he preach, man? You, you, you don't really understand now. We live in the day and time when entertainment can be found at a funeral. Mm -hmm. And I like to say it because sometimes people don't come for the right reason. Mm -hmm. They come to church because they heard that the preacher can really preach. And then when they walk out and she said, well, I thought he could preach. I heard he could preach, but man, he didn't do that good to me. So in other words, we understand now that people are not real. And they can act like they're real in your faith, but they can be a phony baloney. And somebody say, well, David is a phony person, man. Right now, they're just talking about the man that just went to church. But today, when you have got a connection with God, you're serious. You ain't playing church. You come to church with the right frame of mind. You don't, you don't play. When you got an attitude, say, man, don't mess with me. This is God's time. In other words, don't sit on this bench and gossip and trying to gossip and talk about somebody when my mind is on the Word of God. I would hate to sit by somebody in the church. And you come to worship God. You come with your faith and you're a worshiper. But every time you go to clapping your hand and sending praises unto God, there's somebody talking about somebody. I like to go to church knowing that if I know this person is really connected with God and, and really in the church, I want to sit by some worshipers. I don't want to sit by some negative person that's going to tell me and always complaining about this ain't right and, and tell me about everything that they're going through. You need to get away from around people that always got a problem. And they look for you in, in the funeral to listen to what they're going through. Maybe you just want to give support to the family. But it's a time and a season for all things. I wish you see what I'm saying. Uh -huh. When your time is focused on somebody that's hurting, 
And you want to be their support. You ain't got time to talk about nobody. You know, talking about somebody gossiping and, and they really have it hard. And, and your, your mind is just on loving people. And so in other words, we the time and the season for all things. But this woman going to the text. This woman had to be a woman that just didn't play church. That was time, y'all, when we just don't need to be playing church. The Bible said time is seen for all things. We don't need to be hanging around somebody that's just playing church. Make your association. The Bible said, in other words, you got to associate with the right people. Association brings on what? Assimilation. There's a symbol and there's a like faith for you hanging with somebody that's always gossiping. And something in you that they want to hang with you. Maybe you said something about somebody one time and they said, oh, he gossiped too. I'll hang with him. But at that time, God delivered you. You might have been a gospel. You might have talked about somebody. But God delivered you. I looked at the, rap, the, the, the one of the fighters last night, Sean, they were interviewing. And, and Sean, the one of the uh, fighters, Pacquiao, I believe it was. And, and he said, God them saved him and his wife. The man looked at different. Judah. Judah, Judah, I'm sorry, Judah, that's what his name, Judah, amen, thank you Lord, I don't know all the fighters, but Judah, that's who he was, amen, Sean, thank you, Judah, the man looked at different, I couldn't believe it, Sean said, here he is, here's Judah, and this, he said, the man was talking, I said, Sean, he looked different, him and his wife then got saved, and in the church he talking about God, you know, it's something about your conversation. Make your conversation holy. And then but the Judah begin to talk and, and just thinking about it, how in people are talk and you know you everything coming out of his mouth was about God. I said, Lord, thank you. I said, Sean, he looked different. Uh -huh. So sometimes people look different and you say, I said, Sean, he don't look the same. I say his mannerism. You know what he said? He said he was all in self. He said, man, he said, I didn't change. He said, I'm fighting. I used to fight. He said, I was all in self. I sit and I, he got my attention because he didn't look the same. I'm glad Sean showed it to him because he was on YouTube and Sean says, look at this. I said, wait a minute. Sean, he looked different. Now, when you see a man of God that used to do one thing, you see a man of God, now he's a man of God, but I seen him in the area way in, he was acting like the, the man of God. So now he changed. So what I'm saying is to say you may be hanging with somebody and you know that for a fact they used to be a liar and, and they talked about people that were crooked and work scams and stuff, but all of a sudden now what? They change. So you come up to them and you say, Hey man, you seen such and such, man, she showed a little bad and then you know what? He said, Wait a minute, man. Man, we in church. Wait a minute, we don't be doing it. He said, What? He said, man, I, I, you, know, I, you, know, I, you know, I used to do this, but God didn't save me, man. Uh -huh. He changed me. I ain't got time to do that, man. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a worshiper. God, God been good to me. So, this person that you used to hang with, he, he's in shock. Why? Because you showed him that you're not where you used to be. Uh -huh. I'm not that one anymore. I will never forget uh, a friend of mine come, came to town and I mean, he came to town and met him up there at Golden Corral. Me and my wife, my wife talking about the, uh, for my birthday. And he kept looking at me. And I seen him too. He, he came up to me and spoke to me and, and everything. And I, and I told him, I said, the first thing came out of my mind. He said, and I said, I'm going to have to tell him I'm not like that. I'm, I, don't, <laughs> I said, I don't do what I used to do. I just had to tell him. I said, I passed the church. And I've been passing the church for a long time, man. He said, man, I thought you left Brooksville. I said, no, I'm still here. Uh -huh. Amen. I say, uh, I say, God uh, bless me. And I say, I've been in ministry now for 25 years. And I said, we just, I said, God just, my own Lord. And I said, that's what, he said, man, he kept looking at me like he couldn't believe it. I know what he was thinking. Man, sometimes when people see you and you're not where you used to be, you may not be all that you could be. You striving, you got, we're all, they none of us perfect, but, when a person see you and they knew how you used to be, man, they, they look up you, look at you up and down like that. Man, I can't believe that. Uh -huh. Why? Because they knew how you used to be. But God changed you and it was something that kept you in this town. Something kept you here was ministry. Amen. I thank God. Uh -huh. But the faith of a worshiper let people know 
that I ain't put no fool in this. I ain't put that crazy 